Uganda loves education. They won't let the kids stop. <laughs> it's 5.30 a.m. Let's get up. Hey, sunscreen because I'm gonna be out all day. I don't remember the last time I woke up at 5.30. Kind of regretting this decision, but we move on. Wow. It's Tuesday and on Tuesdays they have PE class, so I, I'll be running around in the field. I hope not because I hate, I always hated PE class. Class starts at 6 a.m. Why? Currently it is 5.49, so I have 10 minutes to get to class. I have no idea what to expect because um, it's been like five years since I graduated high school. This is elementary school, so it's been even longer since I finished elementary school. So I'm ancient. I'll be going to P7 class. Here they have cl grades from P1 to P7. That's primary school. I'm kind of nervous because like, what if nobody wants to hang out with me or sit with me during lunch or like be my partner for an assignment? School gives me PTSD. I am scared. Wish me luck. 6 a.m. it's dark. On my way to school. And I changed because like, um, apparently you shouldn't wear black clothes because a lot of mosquitoes bite you. Which I knew that, but I wanted to wear Nike for the fashion, but the auntie was kind of telling me to go change, so I did. This is so weird. Waking up at 5.30 a.m. was seriously no joke, but I made it to first period. I thought I was on time, but I was the latest one who showed up to class, so that was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> the students here wake up at 4 a.m. Let me say that one more time. 4 a.m. every single day, Monday to Saturday. They come to class by 5 a.m. and self-study for an hour, and then the teacher comes at 6 a.m. Wow! <laughs> First period always changes depending on the day. It's like a mandatory extracurricular class for kids who live in the dorms. And today was math. Math at 6 in the morning? Love it. I think in general, students aren't giving textbooks here in school, so they have to write everything down that the teacher writes on the board in their notebooks. So basically, their notebooks that they write in is their textbook. So kids here have really clean, pretty, neat handwriting. Kids told me that they practice at a young age to write very neatly because if they don't, it's their loss when they need to study and they can't read their handwriting, you know? <laughs> Since it's really hot in the afternoon, they have PE class really early in the morning. I don't know if this is a regular thing, but from grade 1 to grade 7, kids all showed up for PE class and PE class lasted for 3 hours three hours of PE. I don't think it's usually this long, but an annual sport competition where all public schools in the area compete in is coming up, so the students are given this time to train. The first race started with grade seven boys. They had to run 12 laps around the field. The second race was grade seven girls. They had to run four laps around the field. I was planning to just sit and observe, but the girls kept on telling me to join them. And like when I saw the boys do 12 laps, I don't know why, but I was like, ooh, it looks kind of easy. Like I think I can totally run. 12 laps for the girls it's four laps so i was like let's do it and wow what a humbling experience to run with these kids 
<laughs> I was like dying by the time it was the third lap. The field is actually really big, okay? It's large. So you would have probably felt like you were dying too if you ran four laps. I don't know how the boys ran 12 laps. That's just insane. These kids have insane physical abilities. At least I didn't come in last place. It was really cute to see the teachers and the kids cheering for me and even like the cooks in the cafeteria came out to watch me run and they were like laughing and seemed to be enjoying seeing me run. I mean, it's not every day that you see an Asian girl running in Africa, right? So I guess they enjoyed the show. <laughs> the rest of the time, I sat on the benches with the kids who were waiting for their turn. While we were waiting, we were all bored. So we had a random arm wrestling match. <laughs> Kids here have no mercy, guys. No mercy. Mm -mm. They were also very fascinated about how my skin would turn red from all the sweat and the heat. I've gotten this so often. The kids would always comment on my green veins. They'd be like, ooh, I can see your green veins. So I told some of the kids, I was like, guys, you didn't know? Koreans have green blood. Koreans have green blood. No. This, I scratched it. That's why it's red. No. Koreans have green blood. <laughs> Some of the little ones actually looked like they were a bit convinced, so that was really cute. <laughs> 10 a.m. to 10.45 is breakfast time, which is porridge. They take their own cups, get porridge from the cafeteria, and just drink it or eat it with their spoons. Okay, at this point of the day, I'm like confused about three things. Firstly, the teacher wrote something on the board for us to copy down in our notebooks, but he never showed up to class. And the kids didn't seem that bothered by it. I asked them where the teacher was, and they were just like very casually, very nonchalant they're like i mean the teacher will eventually come as if they're very used to not seeing the teacher show up so i was a little concerned secondly even though there's no teacher in the room the kids behave very well back in my day if the teacher left the room we would become super loud start gossiping talking taking out our phones but these kids even though the teacher is not around they stay in their seats and just like talk quietly amongst themselves super well behaved children Thirdly, I don't understand how much time is given to each class because like the teacher was gone for basically two hours. Um, but that was good for me and the kids because we got to talk and just have fun together. They loved my graffiti art. So the kids sitting in front of me started to write my name on his table in the same style. It was an honor to see I was inspiring these little children. You know what I'm saying? I folded paper cranes and the kids were so impressed by that too. They kept telling me to make more so that they can each keep one to remember me by which was so cute. <laughs> Speaking of cute, the students started to ask me on how to contact me once I leave. Kids here know about Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, you know, all the social media, but then they don't have social media because they don't have a phone and there's like no internet around. So this was like a new feeling for me because I'm so used to being connected with people through social media. It's like, it's like a very tangyeonan thing. What is tangyeonan in English? <laughs> it's like an obvious thing. Like, of course, you keep in contact with people through social media. Like, we were born into the age of internet social media, right? So it made me sad to realize, like, I wouldn't be able to keep in contact with these kids through social media. What what will we do? Social media can be toxic, but it's such a useful tool. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. I didn't know what to say because I've never been in this type of situation where kids don't have social media, right? So I was just like, I'll give you my Korean number so that if you guys ever come to Korea, you can call me. It was so sweet and so cute how they looked so excited and they immediately wrote down my Korean number in their notebooks. I really hope that our lives cross paths again with each other someday because wow, these kids are so precious. After almost two hours of being teacherless, the religious education teacher came to class. It was like a chill 40 minute class. Again, I don't understand how long each class is. Oh, thank you. one hour lunch break. Kids only have breakfast and lunch break. There are no breaks or recesses in between. The kids here eat the same thing every day for lunch. Bosho, which is like rice made from corn and red beans. 
I asked them if they ever get tired of eating the same thing every day for like breakfast and lunch and they told me that like most schools do this they serve the same thing every day so they're used to this lifestyle <laughs> Many kids are struggling to stay awake during class. So what these kids do is go stand in the back of the room or wash their face with water to stay awake. Oh, and kids here stand up when they're answering a question. There's a lot of respect and to be honest, fear? Kids here all seem quite scared of their teachers. And it made me wonder if I was ever scared of my teachers back in the day. I mean, I do feel scared of my professors in Korea. They are quite intimidating. 3.30 to 4.30 is self-study time. Then school is finished at 4.30. But guess what? It's not over. They also have night classes that start from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. <laughs> Amazing. Uganda loves education. They won't let the kids stop. <laughs> so once it's 4.30, the kids have to clean the classrooms. and then they go back to their dorms to shower and I guess rest a little bit and then have dinner and then they come for the 7 p.m. class. I told myself that I wanted like the full legit experience of being a student in Uganda, but then I'm a coward, guys. I was just like, uh-uh, I'm sorry. I cannot do the 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. class because I was so tired after the 4.30 p.m. class. <gasps> Whew. Uh, I'm finally home. Now I am just going to do nothing. I'm so done. I don't understand how kids do this every day. I asked them, I was like, do you guys not get tired? And then they were like, I mean, we're used to it. And I was like, wow. The kids here are physically, like PE class, and mentally so, so strong. They have some stuff to share with you, so roll the clips. My name is Navde Charity. I made 14 in February. I want to become a fashion designer. I want to move in another country. Canada. What do you like about this school? The school? I like the environment and the new games that I've introduced. With the teachers, some of them. Some. <laughs> but some, some teachers are not interesting. I want to be a surgeon. Someday I'll see you in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My name is Noha. I'm in primary seven. I want to be a lawyer. Hi. My name is Agutu Priscilla. Oh, how is living like that every day? It's fine because you are struggling for the betterness of your future. <laughs> wow. Here we're gonna air it up. My name is Grace. I'm in primary seven. I want to be a soldier. Soldier? Yes. <gasps> really? Yes. And fight? Yes. I want to fight for my country. Yes, yes. To have a, be a better living. Hi, guys. My name is Akel Josephine Bakta. I'm 11 years old. I love the environment of King's Kids. I love the sports, the everything they do. But I don't like the caning. They're waking up early, those such like things, the little time they give us to rest. It's really disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the food we eat, they pour a lot of water. Can you imagine? The, the portion is too... Oh, it's disgusting, actually. When I grow up, I really want to be a surgeon. I want to go to the best country that is good in surgery. That's all about me. I love my country, for good and my country. My name is Kaini Ross Darling, and I would like to tell all about my country. Uganda is so, is so wonderful to stay in Uganda. Uganda is the most beloved country and it's the pearl of Africa. And also what I like about my country, Uganda, everyone makes us happy. The president is just good. Everything goes well, the shops are there, and nice schools and also what i really want to be in future i want to be a doctor my name is ole joel my dream is to be an engineer i want to work in in france i like the the adventure in uganda and the climate my name is lokwang charles uh, i want to be a priest a priest yes <laughs> really you said you want to be a 
Oh, okay. If that job fails, I'll be a priest. My name is Otala Justin. I'm 15 years old. I want to be a doctor when I grow up. You want to work here? No. Where do you want to go? South America. Canada. Saranghe. Saranghe. Yeah! Saranghe. Justin couldn't have said it any better. Saranghe, everyone. <laughs> Hope you enjoy getting to know some of the students here and their lifestyle. If you ever feel stressed and tired from life, just remember, there are kids in Uganda who wake up at 4 a.m. and stay in school till 10 p.m. It's an understatement, but these kids are truly amazing, resilient, and just precious, precious beings. Ha, ha, ha.